um, this is a just a reaction to another humiliating loss to the Winnipeg Jets. We lost three to two. Pretty much, you know, another slow start. But nice to see Tuck, you know, get a goal his first in his first time back in the lineup. Um, nice to see Zach Benson out there. And the thing is that, you know, this team has just got to... I don't know, guys. I mean, it blows my mind that these teams that we're playing against right now, we were able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. We were able to compete. And we just find ways to stumble, not play 60 minutes, and we just find creative ways to lose. And I hate losing. I hate losing as much as I love winning. I just can't seem to figure this team out right now. You know, right now I'm kind of pretty much putting the weight and the blame on the shoulders of the coaching staff. Pretty much not changing a thing with this team. When you lose and lose and lose, you have got to change. You have got to change something. You have got to start holding players accountable. You. <sighs> Sabres had the Winnipeg Jets. Bills got the New York Jets. If the Bills lose to the Jets, I will definitely start singing Benny and the Jets just out of my severe sadness. What can I say? I guess this shows what kind of dysfunctionality this team still, still has. I was praying for a good weekend for Buffalo sports. I still am hoping, because Buffalo's got Chicago on Sunday, the Bills got the New York Jets on Sunday. You know, you're praying for a good showing here. I a loss for words, guys, of, I can't let the, the fact of Tage Thompson, Jack Quinn, you know, some of these guys that we had last year, pretty much throughout the year in our lineup, being out of the lineup right now, I will not say that's a good enough excuse. A lot of these guys on this team right now have, they have been playing in the NHL long enough to know what you know, to deal with every scenario. Owen Power, definitely not looking like a guy who is going to be earning, you know, eight million a year, almost eight million a year. Or if he, is it eight I don't care. The guy's not playing like he deserves all this money that's coming to him. Yeah, you're screening your goaltender. Pretty much he's looking like that goalie from, you know, Slapshot. You're screaming me! You're screaming me! You know, Dwayne made a good comment on to the voice one mic. You know, come on, Dorn, get in front of the damn ball. Don't give me this ole bullshit. I guess, you know, power, everyone you... Every every time you take a puck off your he, off your heels, there you you'll owe us thirty sit ups. <laughs> but I'm gonna be stewing on it all weekend, probably till the Blackhawks game. If we lose to the Blackhawks, if we lose or struggle against the Blackhawks. You've got to question the coaching, and you got to question, all right, the the intentions of some of these players. Do they need to be benched? Do we need a landmark fire just to get this team where 
it's supposed to be right now. Leave a comment, and you guys tell me what you think. Thank you all for watching this. Hit like if you like this video. Click subscribe to it. And hopefully the Bills will surprise us, and hopefully the Sabres can get back on the winning track. See you later, guys.